Battle of Lake Trisimini, arguably the greatest military ambush in history. If you like what we're doing on this channel and would like to get a new video every Tuesday, please hit subscribe below. You will be presented with a tactical problem as though you were Hannibal Barca and then asked, what would you do? It's spring 217 BC. Only a few months before in December of 218, the Romans got their butts totally kicked by the Carthaginians at the Battle of the Trebia River. This is the following spring. The Romans are looking for a rematch. After the disaster at the Battle of the Trebia River, Rome panics. They elect two new consuls. These two new consuls are each given an army. Those armies march north. Uh, Council Flaminius, Council Geminus, they both march north to Aredium and Armenium. As they head north, they know that these are the two main points which block southern entry into Italy. The other areas, the Arno River marshlands, at this point in Italy are absolutely impassable in the spring. Uh, their bet is that if they can hold these two choke points, they can catch Hannibal as he comes out of the mountains. Okay, at this point, Hannibal is in the northern part of Italy. It's called Cisalpine Gaul, which simply means in Latin, our side of the Alps. Now, the Gauls occupy a lot of this land. When we think Gauls, we think French, but the Gauls were actually a much uh, much more diverse people which spread over many, many uh, areas of Europe. And they were at this point in Northern Italy, they hated the Romans. The Romans had infringed upon their land. The Romans had really treated them poorly. When Hannibal came over the Alps, the Gauls were thrilled. Here's an opportunity to show Rome uh, what we're made of. So we've got north of the Apennine Mountains, Hannibal is here. Uh, the Gauls are great allies, but they're finicky. Gauls are in this for plunder. Gauls are in this for revenge. Hannibal knows if he's gonna keep his Gallic allies uh, on his side, he needs to march. He needs to march now, he doesn't have the supplies, and to keep these Gaul warriors interested, they gotta plunder, so he knows he has to move. But what strategy to use? Hannibal is renowned for his interest in and use of military intelligence. He wants to know where his enemies are, what they're doing, and what they're thinking. He's done his scouting, he knows there's a Roman consul and a Roman army at these two choke points. He needs to get to central Italy. Here's the problem. If he hits any of these areas, what will happen is with the rough terrain, if you hit this area, you can reinforce. You hit that area, they can reinforce. One of Hannibal's key strategies is to attempt to meet each Roman army separately and destroy them piecemeal. You're Hannibal Barca. You gotta get into central Italy. It's decision time. What would you do? There are four options. Option number one. Option number one. Although there's a Roman consul in your way, you're going for it anyway. Hannibal and option number one would march his Gauls and his Carthaginians straight toward Armenium. Although there's a consul there, the option is to go hit him head on and bust into central Italy. Option number two. Option number two, you're Hannibal Barca, you need to bust into central Italy. Option number two, you take your Carthaginians and Gauls, you march, and then you take an Apennine Pass through the mountains, and you're gonna be facing another Roman consul at this point, but you see the pass, you go forward into central Italy. Option number three. Option number three, you decide that going head on against the Roman consul at this location, this location is not the best idea. What you decide to do is Hannibal Barca is you take your Gauls and your Carthaginians, you march over the Apennine Mountains a bit to the north, you end up in the Arno River marshlands, a highly, highly risky move as this is considered impassable at this time of year. Option number four. Option number four, your Hannibal Barca, you're stationed up here with your Gauls, you decide at this time it is not the best time to proceed south. Your way is blocked and it's better for you to continue to have more Gauls come to your side, build your forces, resupply, and attack at a later time. So, what would you do? My boy Hannibal chooses option number three. Did you? Audacity is his watchword. Hannibal marches his army of Gauls and Carthaginians over the Apennine Mountains and into the Arno River marshlands, considered impassable this time of year. He does this a remarkable feat in four days, effectively putting the Romans in the blind, outflanking their position. 
So Hannibal makes a very daring decision. He's going to march his army into the Arno Swamp. This is the area every spring that floods. No one can pass this area. That's, that's what everyone believes. An army could never go through there. Therefore, he chose that direction. He goes through this area. A lot of this trip, four days, three nights, his men are actually up to their necks. They're trudging through. They have all their equipment. They have all their horses. They have all their supplies. They're trying to get through. Hannibal sends his best troops first. He puts his Gauls in the middle because he knows his Gauls, if they're experiencing discomfort, they're heading home. So he puts his cavalry in the back to keep those Gauls pushing forward. So these four days and three nights, they hardly have any sleep at all. Those that had the fortune to actually be mounted on horses slept on their horses. Those that did not, those that were walking, if you can believe it, thousands of their pack animals died along the way. They actually had to sleep on the dead carcasses of their pack animals to get any rest. But at the end of those four days, Hannibal pops out of that swamp. He's successfully gotten around the Romans doing the unbelievable. And now he's ready to launch his plan. Fascinating fact. Hannibal Barca, as hard as Carthaginian steel, goes through that Arno swamp. And he has a terrible eye infection. His eye is pussing. His eye is oozing. His eye is killing him. He has it bandaged sitting on his last remaining elephant cirrus. He never gives up. Eventually, Hannibal will lose all sight in that eye. One tough dude. Once Hannibal's been able to get himself out of the Arnold River swamp, he heads south. He's heading south, hoping to engage one of the Roman armies. Remember this, he knows there are two Roman armies under two different consuls. His objective is to engage one, destroy it before it's reinforced to the other. To this end, he's heading south. Gaius Flaminius is there. He's been advised by his folks, don't engage until the other army is able to reinforce. But Hannibal, once again, uh, military intelligence is very important. He knows the character of Flaminius. Flaminius is a hot-headed, egotistical man. He can be easily provoked. Hannibal uses this. Hannibal in this area begins to have his men fan out. They burn farms, they burn villages, they absolutely wreak havoc wherever they go, and this drives Flaminius crazy. No matter all around, all he sees is burning villages. These are the people, these are the villages he's supposed to protect. Remember, once again, he's a politician. He needs to get reelected. This is bad for, uh, bad for his image, right? So the idea is he is provoked, he is going to engage. Now Hannibal, actually to further upset him, goes around Flaminius to his south, and now Flaminius decides he is going to engage at this time. He will not be humiliated. He is gonna save the honor of Rome, and in the, the uh, trend, he will be the hero. Hannibal is out of the Arno Swamp. Guys, Flaminius is pissed off because the entire countryside and all the villages are on fire, and he feels as though he has failed and will be held politically accountable. The bait has been set. What will happen next? The Battle of Lake Trasimene, one of the most epic ambushes in history. Two steps. Step number one, click subscribe below. If you like what you're seeing, click subscribe below. You're going to get more of this. Second step, check out the next video. You're going to see how this epic battle, this epic ambush comes about. The Battle of Lake Trasimene. We'll see you there.